Written on singer Pete Burns' face is over two decades of plastic surgery. The megastar of 1980s British pop was known for his flamboyant appearance, but nothing prepared the public for the radical experiments Burns conducted on his own face. After the first one, a botched nose job, the surgeries and enhancements just kept piling up. Dozens upon dozens of injections and procedures, steroids, filler, and tissue reconstruction. Now, Nick Watt goes face to face with the man who can't stop changing his. Pete Burns was an electro pop god of the 1980s, the striking, androgynous frontman of British band Dead or Alive. He found global fame with You Spin Me Right Round. 25 years later, we meet in a London hotel to discuss what has happened to his face. I mean, you were a beautiful man. You were lauded. Why did you want to change him? I just wanted to change it. The first incision of the surgeon's knife, a botched nose job. Yeah, that's where the eye patch came about, because it collapsed on one side. It was done by a backstreet butcher. That didn't put you off? No. Because sometimes you're just unlucky, and it was fixed. If you can fix it, if it goes wrong, if you can fix it, I don't see it as anything, any big drama. And can I look up for me? The nose was fixed, and Burns has continued to alter his appearance with makeup, tattoos, hundreds of injections, and surgery. I'd rather go through two hours of pain and then have 18 months of self satisfaction and walk around thinking, if only, if only, but I haven't got the courage. I see it as an art form. I see myself as my own clay, and I'm re I was remodeling it. Do this. I want you to. <laughs> <laughs> because it paralyzes your face, and you go like Betty Davis after the stroke. And so, where do you think this desire, where do you think this sort of drive came to? It's been in me since early childhood, when I was getting bottles of Dylon shoe dye and pouring them over my head to make my hair green. But in 2000, a near fatal decision a lip implant that would change his face forever that would take Pete Burns to the verge of death. The surgeon, Dr. Maurizio Vile. And I developed rashes and stuff around the mouth from it and he, he'd just say, oh, I'll put some steroids in, the rashes will go. And then I developed lumps and he'd say, that's a deposit of the product. What I'll do is put more product around it and bury it. And he just kept injecting me and injecting me. After four years, crisis point. I woke up after doing a song with the Scissor Sisters and my lip was at least 18 inches away from my face, the lower lip. It was huge, like this big, just swollen, like a ubangi. But when you wake up and your Adam's apple has come out here further than your jaw, and one side of your face is so swollen you can't open your eye and there's yellow discharge, not just leaking, squirting with a hiss, it would squirt from my face. It was like one of the worst science fiction or horror movies you could ever see. Burns had just released a greatest hits album. He should have been touring, but he couldn't even show his face in public. I went as far as LA and New York to see specialists, and all they could recommend was amputation. Eventually, his lips were saved by an Italian surgeon who specializes in rebuilding faces eaten away by cancer. Burns endured two years of intensive treatment. It was removing what amounted to pints of fluid that my body had produced to try and fight this substance that was in me. I had 11 kidney stones, near liver failure, thrombosis, nearly lost sight in one eye and couldn't eat food. I had to be intravenously fed. So for two years like that. Burns walked away with a $700,000 out of court settlement from Dr. Maurizio Vile. I hope he dies. I hate the man's guts. Because despite over 100 operations to put things right, Burns still looks like this. If you walk down the street, people are drawn to look at you. They always have done. I don't even see it. It doesn't register. What are you underneath? I'm not about to tell anybody that, but all I will say is that what you see on the outside is a complete contradiction to something that's on the inside. We're all changing something. You're not sitting here unshaven in your dressing gown or start naked, and I'm not sitting here untouched by the syringe. Burns admits he will never kick the plastic surgery habit. Because I have a good doctor. He's on speed dial in my phone. I have a good doctor and he won't try anything that is, you know, because occasionally I get a crazy idea. <laughs> I'm very clever in what I use now. It's my own tissue that I use, fast harvested from my own body. 
Right. So the body absorbs it and it's safe and you can't reject it. And a lot of it's just age maintenance. And a lot of it is, I get bored and I think I've got to change. I've got to do something. <laughs>